What's up, brick wall? You motivated me to hop into Alaska. I was a little confused by the time. Well, let's see. Alaska definitely works. Usually the paid mods are no issues. I never had an issue with this one. So I went all the way up north to get away from that lengthy road going back down south to Washington. This way I didn't get stuck on any um, you know, long trips. up on Twitch. I can't uh, see your username. It's too small. Sorry. from Anchor Point to Anchorage. Four hours game time should take about 20 minutes real world, I guess. And the lightning with um, JBX is pretty awesome. under 24,000 for everything you see. I don't have a video on Twitch of the parts, but I do on TikTok, same username, all the parts, all pricing. That includes my PC and everything, of course. What's up, Bree? Where did I get the money for it? Working? Brick wall, let me know what snow mod you use, because that's next. I got to figure that out. I just have to do my NVIDIA settings for JBX, get that done, make sure all that's good. And then I want to get some snow 
because if the snow is anything like the rain with JBX, it's going to be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, user 74, if I don't shift in time, this has a rev limiter, so I'll let you hear it. I don't know if all trucks, while well, transmissions have a rev limiter or not. I know the one I've been using does. I can't speak about all of them, though. But if I downshift, for example, in too low of a gear, I don't think anything happens. So let's see, we're in six now. I'll drop to three. See, it just revs out. And then if I put the Jake on and do that, kind of does the same thing. Frosty Snow Mod. All right, I'm going to check that out. Uh, somebody asked if this is hard to set up. No. All these uh, racing chassis, SimLab, Next Level Racing, any brand, they all come in instructions. Pretty straightforward to build. It's all aluminum profile. And the profile has slots in it little nuts go inside of it. They're called T-slot nuts. And you connect a piece of aluminum profile to it with like some corner bracket, an L-bracket, put a bolt through it, and that's it. And they slide around. You just gotta be careful if you do get the black profile. It scratches very easy, so you just wanna be careful, you know, putting it together. You don't want to go scratching up all your, even the silver scratches. It's just not as obvious. Oh, look at this. We got Amazon Prime and Alaska here. Oh, Chadwick. I didn't even see it. Oh, shit. Going too fast. I haven't even seen the hate yet. Where is it? How old are you? Three. Go try and drive a real truck. I'm guessing that Jack is like 40 and he lives at home with his mom and he's on the hub all day long at her kitchen table. Yeah, big cats. So it just came back on when I loaded up. So I'm guessing that when you put rain probability up, you might have to restart the game and it works. So Connor, I do have a splitter, a range and a splitter but my shift knob broke. So I'm using my flight controls, which you can't see on TikTok, but you can on Twitch. I have my Thrustmaster Warthog off to the left, and I'm using the two engine switches on that as my range and splitter. That's that clicking you hear periodically, like now, for example. So that was my workaround for now until my new shifter arrives. use a Logitech setup? Yeah, of course. That's one nice thing about the um, Logitech wheel and pedal set that pretty much supports everything. Arcade style and Sims. Yeah, Chadwick, it's hit or miss with truckers. Some like it, some hate it. The ones that hate it really hate it, and they tend to let everybody know that they hate it. I'm not sure why. But I get it. If I was a trucker on the road, yeah, 60 hours a week, I certainly wouldn't come home and do this. No special adapter for the wheel. This is a Fanatec Club Sport V2 steering wheel which came with a uh, GT style Alcantara. And this rim I bought on Amazon for hundred bucks, 70 millimeter bolt pattern, and it bolted right onto the Fanatec hub. The only thing I had to do was move the buttons further out. So you just loosen them up on the Fanatec brackets, they slide out, tighten them up, and that's it. Get a real job. Okay, no name. 
because like I tell everybody, all this was free. It was a gift. I got home one day and boom, all this stuff was on my porch. level are you required to customize your PC? I don't understand. So the, if you're referring to the levels in ATS, those only apply with in-game mods, I think. Thank you for that, Big Cats. I appreciate it. So, like, you can buy certain mods, I think, or upgrades to trucks at certain levels. But I'm not too sure about that because, you know, kind of since day one, I've um, had paid mods, which don't really apply. No, I'm not training to be a trucker. I have a job, a career, a business. It's only a hobby. This is just a video game. This is no different than people playing Warzone, except I'm driving a truck or racing a car or flying a plane, whereas, you know, they're playing Warzone. Jordan, I have the Fanatec shifter, the age pattern, the one and only shifter they have. So Outlaw, my um, my setup's a bit expensive. I spent a little under 24000 as of today's pricing. I do have a video up on TikTok with all the parts and pricing. But again, like I tell everybody, don't be discouraged by that number or pay attention to it. I have a lot of gear on here that you do not need. You can build something that looks exactly like this for less than half of that. Yeah, brick wall, let me know how it is, I'm curious. And as far as it looking real, I mean, I have, you know, I have an RTX 3090, I do have the graphics on Ultra. I also have a graphics mod called JBX Graphics V3. So all that helps. And if you think it looks um, real on TikTok, it looks a lot better on Twitch. And that's not to get you to Twitch, but TikTok, I'm streaming from my phone, and it's just simply recording, streaming my screen. Whereas on Twitch, it's the actual, you know, screen being um, streamed. I do also upload these videos to YouTube a few days later, so you can always catch them on there too if you want to see a different view. Uh, does it feel real? I don't. I can't compare it to a truck because I've never driven a truck. So it's hard to say. I can tell you certain games, like for example, iRacing, when I use the Mazda in that, it feels like a real Mazda. In fact, I think the Mazda in that is one of the most realistic sim vehicles out there. And I think they're also realistic enough to the point where, you know, F1 drivers off season, these are the types of simulators they use to practice. And they have different gear, of course. But a lot of them are in iRacing. No, I have a clutch. You'd see, you'll see me use the clutch when I downshift and when I take off. When I shift up, I try my best to float up so you won't see me use it too much. Alright, it looks like we got some Alaskan traffic here now. Not even close to reality. Uh, I'm not going to agree or disagree with that. Again, there's a lot of truckers you can find on YouTube that would disagree with that. There's some that will agree with it, so... I don't know what I don't know, so I really can't... say. Do you need software for this game, or you need the game? You can download American Truck Simulator on Steam. But I mean, as far as software? No, I'm just running Windows. Windows 10, 11. I might have 12, I'm not sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, Hunter, I'm not sure. I use it going down because I'm not good at the RPM matching. So, um, yeah, that's why I downshift that way. Uh, Tony, is it actually fun? Yeah. Poor Fisherman 2,000, 3,000 to make this happen? I mean, you can make it happen for less. Check out my TikTok profile, go to my link tree, and I have some budget setups listed. You can buy a Logitech wheel and pedal set with a shifter for about 350. You can buy the Next Level Racing GT Challenger cockpit, I think it's called, which is about 350. So about 700 right there. Now, assuming you have a computer, you're good to go. You have to mount the, well, you have to mount anything. You can just put the rig near your desk instead of your seat and use your display and computer that you have, install the game and that's it, you're ready to play ATS. You don't wanna buy a cockpit, you buy the Logitech wheel and pedal set and you bolt it to your desk. And you can just play right there. You don't want a wheel and pedal set, you can download this game and play with a keyboard and mouse, a controller. The wheel and pedal just makes it more immersive. Aiden, how hard is it to build? They're simple to build. As long as you're somewhat handy, like Ikea furniture handy, just different, you're good to go. I mean, it's instead of working with wood, you're working with uh, aluminum, aluminum extrusion. Aiden, there's a lot of, there's a company that makes one out of wood, which is really nice looking rig. Uh, Dave Cam on YouTube, he reviewed it, and he actually gave up his aluminum rig for a while for it, and he was using that exclusively, but I think recently I've seen him back on his aluminum rig, I don't know why. I didn't go back to see his videos to see what the problem was. And, you know, with the cost of wood now, buying that wouldn't make sense. It's just too expensive, I would assume. But there's many plans out there for wooden sims. You download some free plans, you can build one. Formula style, GT style. Uh, 6500 for a game is crazy? No, that's nothing. I mean, again, go on YouTube, look up Boosted Media. I mean, granted, he does this for a living, but he's got a $100,000 rig. He uses those HP 65-inch Omen displays. I mean, those alone are like $6,000 a piece. But listen, if you're not into this stuff, I get it. You're not gonna understand, it won't make sense. Oh shoot, don't hit him. I mean, you'd probably be surprised to find out that some people pay $10,000 for a set of golf clubs, if not more than that. But if it's not your thing, yeah, it just won't make sense. I get it. All I know is JBX V3 with Alaska is pretty sick. I'm happy with it. So yeah, to answer your question, it's fun. It's fun to me. Yeah, Chris, this is just a Fanatec shifter. That's it. I used to have the sim panel shift knob on it, but I broke it. So I'm still using this with my flight control switches for my range and splitter. And I'm using the button up here for the um, jake brake. Uh, set of Corsa, yeah, I have that. I've played that. But I, I primarily, when I do race, I race in high racing, not a set of Corsa. I also have flight controls on here for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have train controls for a train sim. So I play a few different things. I built this originally for iRacing. That's what it was originally built for. What is that brick wall? Addy Guns Pass, I don't know what that is. Is that a separate mod or is that something in Alaska?
how hard is it to find the buttons and switches for it? Uh, it's not hard at all. Just Google search SIM. Actually, yeah, just Google search. Hold on, I missed my gear. SIM panel for ATS. And they sell this button box and a shift knob that goes on your shifter. I think it's like 450 bucks total for both. Or you could just buy the button box. And the only reason this button box is a bit more expensive is because it's made for ETS and ATS to look like it's for trucking with the knobs and all. You can just buy a standard button box on eBay or Amazon for 50 bucks just with buttons on it. Label them yourself and use that instead of this. And again, this game and Euro Truck Simulator been around forever. There's no shortage of content on YouTube, Twitch, other streamers on TikTok, Facebook gaming. It's a really, really popular game. So I know a lot of you don't get it and you hate it. So Brick Wall, is it part of the Alaska mod? Or is it a separate add-on? And how do you find it if it's in here? Uh, what are we hauling? Good question, I didn't even look. Car parts going to the Tesla warehouse in Anchorage. And we will be there in about uh, three, four, five minutes. Where do I get the money from my streams? I don't really make money from this. I make a few bucks here and there with Fanatex affiliate program, the Amazon Associates, you know, from my link tree and all that, but um, nothing to make a living from I mean I'm not making a living from it but I only stream for like an hour a day maybe two hours a day today I'm streaming a bit more because I won't be streaming next week not until Friday so I'm just making up for it a little bit today if I did this full time like other streamers eight ten hours a day yeah who knows I don't know but there's a lot of streamers that make some big bucks out there I mean Nadia Warzone probably making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a month at this point. And that's just an assumption based on her public Twitch subs. Who knows, you know, what other revenue she's got. Back to the basics. Is a Facebook gamer, streamer. He streams ETS and uh, ATS. I'm pretty sure he does this full time. And that's just two of tens of thousands. What do I keep getting cut off for? Where are we hauling this to? Anchorage. Anchorage, Alaska. It's in between Coldfoot. All right, I gotta check that out for a while. Thank you, Buck. Big Mac, you find this offensive that I identify as a truck driver? That's weird. I don't identify as anything. I'm playing a video game. So, I mean, what? All military members need to be offended that Warzone exists? I mean, come on. Get real, dude. Get a life. I'd start with that. That's step one. Once you do that, maybe get a therapist or some people you can chat to. Try to figure out why you're miserable. The 
current temp is 72. He's inside playing a video game. Yeah, because I live in the same state as you, Big Mac, right? Here's my watch. It's 41 degrees out. But yeah, you know, I, I'm your neighbor, right? We live in the same state. All right, so it's safe to say that Big Mac is either a 12-year-old, which is fine, so I'll lay off. I don't want to be offensive towards a 12-year-old. Or, very likely, 30, 40-year-old man that spends his day on the hub and he lives at home. One or the other. If I had a vote, I'd say he's older. What do you think, Big Mac? I'll put up a video about you, I'll tag you in it. We'll do a vote, see what people think. Send us your um, browser history. Let's see what that looks like. I'd be curious to see that. there destination one I'll get this dropped off see what other jobs we have out of um, Anchorage and then that'll probably be it for this stream then I'll be back on Friday afternoon Dominic, what voice mod am I using? I just switched it, actually. This is... Hold on, I'm thinking. Zmods. Zmods, it's called... That's the only one they have. Just Google search Zmods GPS voice. You'll find it. And when you install... You do have to pay for it. It's free. Well, it's going to sound weird. I think it's free. But when you add it to your card, you do have to, like, donate something to them. But you pick the amount. So, you know, you can do it for a dollar or 50 cents. And then when you install it, you have to go to your ATS settings, and I think you have to pick Lori from the drop-down. English Lori. No other voices are supported. And if you don't want to do all that, go on the Steam Workshop and look up the Google Maps GPS voice. That one also sounds good. And just make sure if you use any GPS mods, whether it's one of the two I mentioned, just bump up your navigation volume on the audio settings, otherwise you won't hear it. I had this one at 100%, it's still pretty low. All right, chat, we are here. We're gonna get this dropped off. You have reached your destination. So as I'm getting this backed in, which might take a few because I'm not great at it, I would appreciate TikTok, some likes and shares. It helps my stream. I would appreciate it if you follow my mod Bree. You'll see her in the chat. And then we'll pick something else up. So let me find this. Where are we going? Back here, I guess. Uh, Josh, I use the Fanatec Podium DD2 wheelbase. And this is the Fanatec Club Sport V2 steering wheel. And the rim I bought on Amazon. And it's all linked up in my um, link tree. What's up with these gates? Uh-oh. Hold on, chat. I think I came in the wrong lot. One second. I'm going to have to go around, I think.
Yeah, chat, one second. I think I came in the wrong lot. Or I went the wrong way in here, one or the other. Alright, chat, hold on a second. I'm gonna cheat. Don't tell nobody. We're gonna fly out of here. Now, I don't wanna cheat too much, so I'll drop myself over here. I have no idea how to get in this lot. Alright, now let's try to park this thing. What is my shifting box setup, James? I just a Fanatec shifter. Fanatec H pattern. You can use the Logitech. I used to have a shift knob on here, the Eaton Fuller from SimPanel, which has the range and splitter on it, but it broke. So for range and splitter for right now, I'm using my flight controls. I have the Thrustmaster Warthog on my left, the throttle, and I'm using the two engine switches on there. So that's that clicking you might hear periodically. But it works for now. So I couldn't use any of these switches because... Whoops. These switches don't... Um, I don't know the technical term for it, but... The switch needs to switch completely and stay in that position. So what? Two position switches you need? These are one. These are just like flick, and they go back to the same position they were in. And all these button boxes, you can buy all the parts very cheap on Amazon. All the different switches and boxes, the USB controllers, most of them are plug and play. You don't even have to solder them. You know, if you like to tinker with stuff. The only problem is, because the parts are so cheap, when you buy switches, you know, you have to buy like a 50 pack. So you end up with a lot of extra parts. All right, chat, we're almost there, I think. Hopefully. And I'm guessing there should be some jobs out of here because it's such a big lot with so many trailers, but we'll see. Green, we're green. All right, chat, hang on. I'll show you the parking. Yeah, James, you don't even necessarily need a shifter. You can use your paddle shifter. You can use sequential. Um, all sorts of options, you know, depending on what you want to spend. All right, let's drop this trailer. All right, chat, give me a second. Let me see what we got out of here. See, where's that trucker that said I'm not a good driver? Look, excellent. Do you think I can win my game? What do you mean, Big Cat? If I win the game, sorry. Like, successfully complete a job in... Oh, Fortnite? Oh, I don't know. I don't know nothing about Fortnite. All right, step one, let's figure out how to get out of this lot so I don't have to fly out of here. Looks like we gotta go down. Oh shit, what'd I just run over? What'd I just run over? 
You can't run over those tracks? For these container loading devices? I guess not. Shit. I should put a warning there, like, do not run over tracks. Good thing I didn't have a trailer. We'd be stuck. I figured they were just, like, railroad tracks. Yeah, and chat, there's a lot of affordable rigs now on um, Amazon. You don't have to get aluminum profile. You can get steel, steel tubing. All right, I don't know if this is the right way. No, I don't think this is the right way either. What kind of facility is this? I want you to get lost in here. I think I have to go all the way around that way. I'm gonna try to go all the way around if I can't make it out. Then we'll just fly out of here, but let's give it a shot. I think one of the brands I see often now on Amazon is called GT Omega. I think. Ever just hit nothing going down the highway? Sometimes it depends on the mod. That would happen with Reforma Mexico. We just hit some random non existent object. All right, looks like we're making some progress now. Let's go this way. I just heard a beep. I don't know what the beep was, but. Oh, there we go, cars. We're back. Let's go get this trailer. This trailer is about an hour game time away. It'll take uh, three to five minutes. At this point, just be a real trucker. I feel like you've been in here today for hours telling me the same thing because I see your profile picture with no name and that little dot next to it. I mean, it's got to be something better you can do with your time. But I appreciate you being here. It helps with the um, analytics with with TikTok, so thank you. Turn left. Oh, red light. Keep left. Keep left. So I've been streaming since April on TikTok. And I'd say today, between this morning and now, I don't know if I've ever seen so many haters all at once. It's like you all came out of the woodwork at once, like a bunch of little cockroaches. Oh shit, what is that, what that, why was that guy, what'd that cop do? Oof, that was close. You see that cop just blow that light? He must have been chasing somebody, but he didn't have his sirens on. It's messed up. Got nervous. I think my heart rate spiked. Oh, that's good, big cats. All right, I think I'm going to stop for fuel now. Might as well get that over with.
That's right, uh, Ty. You cannot go through the X's. That's like, you know, the end, so to say. There are some, I guess you can call them Easter eggs in here. Some secret roads and whatnot. I haven't bothered to look for them yet. But I think every map does have something. 312 a gallon for a diesel in Alaska. That's awesome. I saw that brick wall when I was looking at pro mods. Is that available from pro mods or is that third party? I don't know if I saw it on the Reforma website or what the deal was, but I did see that somewhere. All right, let me go back out here. check it out. Oh shit, I'm going way too fast in the rain. First, I'm going to check out that Frosty. I want to get the snow going. Because when they advertised Alaska, they show the screenshots with the snow. You know, which makes it appealing. So I do want to finally figure that out. I'm just hoping it's as realistic as the rain has been. And hopefully JBX supports it. That's the other thing, too, you have to be careful with. super slippery in the rain. Gotta slow down. Did I build my computer? I did, but I used to run this on an Alienware. I think it was an Aurora R10 or 12. It had a 2080 Super in it. So everything was the same. Except that was the PC I used to use, which was fine. I used it for this game, iRacing, all at 1440 with four displays. Shit. No issues. No dropped frames when streaming, recording, like right now. Well, now I'm running a different system. But my current build that I built myself a few months ago is an RTX 3090 with a Ryzen 5850X. And if you go back to my TikTok videos, you will see that build. It's not a very detailed video on it. So many people you know, build computers these days, so I didn't bother, but... Point is, you can run this on a 2080, probably a 2070. And if you're having any issues, you could always lower the graphics. I've always liked Alienware. People always hate on them because of the cooling. And from what I understand, the latest one they released, I don't know what which one it is, if it's an R15, they completely overhauled the cooling. So a lot of the haters that hated them don't hate them as much now, or at least that system that they just released. Mods. Cool brick wall. 
I'm gonna check all that out after. There you go, so many runs. Oh shit, we're gonna hit him. I'm not paying attention, I'm reading the chat. A 1060 Ti. So I don't know much about GPUs, but... What is a 1060? Performance-wise. How fast does this truck go? I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess, um... You know, bobtailing like this, but no trailer. What happened? Oh, shoot. Went into the wrong gear. I'm gonna guess like 100. But you couldn't do that in the rain. Probably just immediately slide right off the road at like 80, even on a straight. Did I miss my turn? I missed my turn, didn't I? Because my GPS is telling me to turn around. Oh, we got a truck coming with logs. Shit. I'm in Alaska. See? That's why I don't have my CDL chat. Imagine me on the road with a truck doing all this. Truckers, you should be happy. You should be like, thank God this guy's not on the road. Here's our turn that that I missed. It's not my fault. It's a little hidden road. So you'll see the force feedback in the wheel now on this dirt road, bounce all over the place. You do have to be careful on these dirt roads, see? You bottom out and you damage your truck a lot. So you've got to go really slow on these. Almost kind of idle. can um, raise the suspension, but I don't have those buttons mapped. I probably should map them at some point. What's that brick wall? With the frosty? I mean, I'm guessing it just uses the rain, right? That's built in and makes it white is what I'm gonna guess. I mean, I'm no game developer, but logically... Oh, shit. Oh, what the heck? And that's a bit excessive. We're doing, like, nine miles an hour. How could we be bottoming out so much? Uh, Jackson, how do you play in Alaska? You have to pay for the mod. What is it called? What's it called, Brickwall, the official name? Alaska mod? I think it's called Alaska mod. It's like ten bucks, I think. right here. So it's alaskamod.com. And what is it, $10? I think that's what I paid. Just keep in mind, it's a little tricky to buy. You need a TransferWise account or a WISE account. I think it's called WISE now. So you have to fund your WISE account with $20, not $10. And once your account's funded, then you have to send it to the developer. Why is this kind of like PayPal, I guess? Finally, we made it. Boy, that was a mission to get here. Now we got a five hour job to get this thing delivered. Hopefully, I have time for that because it's already 120. All right, logs going to Homer, Alaska. Let's do it. I guess I'm going to keep the rain on this whole time. I think I paid 10 for it, brick wall, when I bought it. Could be wrong, but I feel I don't remember paying 20. Oh shoot, how am I gonna turn around in here? That's some tough driving in Alaska. What do 
I think, what, the most worth state to buy? I like them all, Jackson. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to answer that. I immediately buy any new map DLCs that come out. You know, don't forget, I play this a lot because I stream with it, so the more map I have, the better. And this is my... I've been in Alaska before, but I've only driven to Alaska. So Washington, ferry to Alaska. And all the trips I took down south in Alaska kind of stunk. You're just on, like, some interstate, very boring. So this time I hopped into Alaska and I came all the way up north, where I guess it's more populated, and it's a lot more fun up here. So this is all new for me. Uh, what's coming out next? Oklahoma, I think. I won't hesitate to buy that. But if you're looking for one, oh shoot, Montana was awesome. Texas. And I think the newer DLCs are going to be better because maybe they put more into them. Maybe there's, you know, more availability for One second, chat. I'm trying to get loaded up here. So TikTok, if you could, while I'm loading up, I'd appreciate some likes and shares. I'd appreciate it if you follow my mod Bree. Sorry, I forgot to ask when I got here. I try to only ask when I'm loading and unloading, not throughout the entire stream. Nope, we're good. Thank you, big cats. Appreciate it. Enjoy your week, and I will be back on Friday. All right, here we go. Hopefully James in time, they'll release, you know, all the states little by little. I mean, I would love to see New York for sure with a legitimate Manhattan would be awesome. It doesn't even have to be New York. I mean, some other populated city somewhere in the country where it's like a full mapped city. Right, not 1 to 20. Oh, shit, we're going to hit this thing. Because it'd be really nice to do some city driving, double park cars, you know, deal with all that drama like you would in real life. I also wish they would add the height awareness for overpasses. Well, underpasses. That's got to be a pretty common thing for truckers, especially in New York, like the parkways. Trucks are not allowed on parkways. Alright, this will probably be the longest part of the job getting out of this lot. And hope hopefully once we get out of here. Uh oh. Shoot, we're stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're rolling back. All right, I'm going to have to air break it to get out of this mess. Come on, don't let me down. Where's that torque at? All right, I had to unlock my differential, which seemed to do the trick. Oh, shit, we're going to flip. Why are we flipping? Don't flip. Don't worry, chat. We're getting there. No, don't flip. What's wrong with you? Okay. Whew. Hold on a second, chat. I gotta see something. I gotta see what my heart rate is. A 102. It's kind of like exercise. I'm burning calories. All right, we made it out of here. All right, chat, this took a little longer than expected. This job is five hours, which is about 20 minutes real world. 
So I am going to speed through this. I'm going to be a little aggressive. Just because um, I want to try to be done by like 145-ish. Yeah, Pat, I completely um, misjudged that one. I should have probably went more to the outside. Shit. But I'm not used to these, those little tight, windy roads like that. Not at all. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that truck. I figured there was nobody in Alaska but me. Sorry, buddy. Alaska most wanted list soon. Alright, so I can't go too fast because of the rain. Otherwise, we'll be sliding all over the place. And I kind of want to turn the rain off at this point. I just don't know if I can. Ah, uh, it's an 18, Zach. 18, but I broke my shift knob, so my range and splitter are on my flight controls, which I'm using. What's up, boss lady? I wasn't sure if you left or not. I'm almost done. This is taking me a little longer than expected. We're not doing good in Alaska. Like we get to do some highway driving now, hopefully. I didn't even check in uh, Texas and Houston brick wall, but I figured as much. I think they still use the same 1 to 20 scale. No, my brake's not on. It's pushed in. If you're referring, oh shit, to the red one, the trailer, sometimes they get reversed. I don't know if you were here before when you quick travel from state to state or city to city, when you do that and you don't shut everything down, everything gets reversed. Sometimes. Somebody asked, Trevor, is it? You asked, it's a mod. It's called alaskamod.com, and I, uh, it's $20. And just keep in mind, I don't. you can't just pay them. Like, by credit card, you need a TransferWise account. So you need a TransferWise account. You have to fund your account with the 20 bucks, and then you have to send it to them and then wait for your download. Welcome back, big cats. Yeah, we're still getting, still working on this job, but we're finally making progress. Looks like we're going through Anchorage now. What sound mod are you looking for? I look for the engine. So all my sounds, most of them, either are included with John Ruder's trucks or they're separate from Z mods, Z E E mods. And the specific engine I'm using from Z mods is the DD60, Detroit Diesel 60 series. And I also have the Kenworth Interior Sound Effect Pack. The train crossing, GPS, all the rattle, some rattle sound pack. I think that's 
it. Oh, and some interior noise. All right, we're just gonna go through that. Sound effects. It is, Brock. It's a W900 highway killer. It's a pay truck mod, so by John Ruta, that's what he calls it, highway killer. I don't know if that's what they call it in real life. Yeah, Bobby. So remember I said before, I'm trying to get through this job a little quick because it took me so long to pick up the trailer. And uh, I want to have my stream done at, you know, 145-ish. So I'm just going through stop signs, red lights. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, Austin, this box you can find. Go to my TikTok profile, go to my link tree. You can buy this on Amazon. I think they range from about $200, maybe to like $275, because there's different options. You can get the box alone, you can get the box with the face amount, and you can get the box with the face amount and the CB. And you only need the CB if you are going to, um, uh oh, convoy. And if you convoy and you don't have a CB, you can just use your mic, assuming you stream and all that. Well, even if you don't stream and you want to chat, you still need a mic, so. If you do a convoy and you don't stream and you don't have a mic, I would say get the CB. All right, chat, hold on a second. I'm going to pull over. I figure for the end of the stream, let me see if I can switch back with no rain. So hang on one second. I'm tired of looking at these gloomy guys here. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work with the mod, but we'll try it. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Clear skies. All right, let's get these wipers off. See if they let us merge back in. Byron, you don't get it. Why not go trucking in real life and go get paid for it? So, Byron, can I ask you a question if you don't mind? What do you do for work? Like, what's your job? I'm just curious. I'm not trying to be funny. It's a serious question. But let's just make believe for argument's sake, you work at Wendy's. Why is it raining again? Oh, you're a trucker. All right. So you're a trucker, right? Do you go bowling for fun? or shoot pool, go to the beach, go swimming, any of those things? If the answer is yes to any of those, do you want to do those things professionally? Or do you just do them for fun? Or do you not have any hobbies at all? See what I'm getting at? Hold on, chat, sorry. I have to turn rain probability down. So that's just a video game. It's a video game, hobby. I used to have fish tanks, reef tanks, which took up way, way too much time. And, um, yeah, it was hard to vacation with them because rain probability down. You know, dosing chemicals, feeding, all that sort of stuff. All right, now let's see if we can get the rain off. All right, hopefully we'll be good now with the rain probability down and rain officially off. We'll see. I noticed too on um, YouTube, because I'm getting a lot of videos populated relating to trucking. Looks like all these newer trucks these days are all automatics. Is that accurate? Do you even have the option to get them in a manual transmission? Or is it not even an option anymore? All right, now we can speed a little bit and be a little bit more reckless. Oh, 
Okay, you still can get a manual? Yeah, I wasn't sure because most of the uh, truckers I see are automatic. I'm guessing it's easier though for trucking companies to hire drivers that are younger and cheaper, right? And just put them in an automatic. that just lessens their liability a little bit. Oh no, what's up with this traffic now? All right, chat, we have no choice. We're gonna have to overtake here. I just, um, I can't be sitting in two hours of traffic right now. What do you mean the last Peterbilt 389? They're not making them anymore? I mean, what are these manufacturers doing? I know that some automakers, you know, they're switching to what? All electric, no more fossil fuel in the next, whatever, five, ten years, whatever it is. So I guess that applies to trucks as well. Mustangs, Explorers. Oh, I wonder if we're going to piss this cop off right here. What do you think? Nope. No fine. Western star that we just overtook. Either that or an international, I couldn't tell by the grill. Uh, latex man, look at my work. I've got what you need. I'm based on your username. I'm not quite sure what you're selling. Two coils. He's overweight. Yeah, brick wall. I'm curious to see what that's like. I want to see how far down it goes. All right, chat. We got two hours, 40 minutes left game time. So about 10 minutes, hopefully. Then TikTok, I'll pull my camera back for you all. Show you the full rig. And that'll be it for today. I think I put a new traffic pack in here because I've seen a lot of new cars on the road that I haven't seen before. I've seen a Navigator, a lot of Buicks. And sorry, Chad, if I'm not that responsive, these Alaskan roads. Unfortunately, I have to pay a little bit more attention. I can't just watch the chat as much. Chad, I'll switch back to daytime in a minute. This way it's not too dark for the stream. Oh, we 
like it's got a wrong way violation. Come on, get out of here. Do I drive a truck for real? Just like this. Drive it the same way. Nah, I don't drive a truck for real. My Drake brake? I usually call it a jack brake as a joke. I think I like Drake brake better. All right, let's switch back to uh, morning. So give me a second, chat. One more pull over here. Let's see, 8 a.m. I guess is good. There you go, look at that. So again, I do that mostly for the stream, just so it's not dark. Plus you get to see all this vegetation. This simulator, I have a video up on TikTok with all the parts listed. I have a SimLab P1X, but there's many others out there, Next Level Racing. James, this is my favorite sound pack for sure, the DD60. I've tried all the uh, Cummins, I've tried the Cat sound pack, and I do like some of them, but they're just not, they're just not like this. Especially the Jake brake on this one is just um, so much better. So pretty much all the trucks I have, oh shoot. I put the DD60 in it. I mean, how does it sound for though, you know, compared to a DD60 in real, whoa, did I miss my turn? Or is it getting upset because I'm on the wrong side? Yes, got upset I was on the wrong side. All right, we got an hour left, so about five minutes. And I'm probably not gonna get paid. No, I might get paid for this. Because I advanced time to the morning, we've only got three hours left for delivery. But we should be good. Uh, Darren, I can't stay in my own lane right now. I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm just trying to get this delivered. trucks in Alaska. Then an Alaskan color. Did it like blue? Oh 
issue. Uh, why am I running red lights if you're simulating then do it right? Yeah, so I normally do but like I said you might have not been here This job took longer than expected and I'm in a bit of a rush So I'm just trying to get the job delivered and the stream done and we are gonna take out this Mustang Nope What happened? There you go see some of you sending gifts on TikTok. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's hard for me to see your full usernames because I am watching my own stream on TikTok and the browser UI. I think uh, Solomon, right? And a name I can't pronounce. If I hit somebody, I will get fined and I will damage my vehicle while truck, trailer, and I have to pay for it. Take it as, uh, this is sad, weak. Yeah, it's sad video game. So sad. Now from now on, I'm gonna pick up a new hobby. I'm not gonna play video games anymore. I'm gonna give my sim away. I'm just gonna browse TikTok Live and harass creators and tell them that what they're doing is sad. Tell them to get a real job. Because okay. that's so much more productive. All right, we are almost there. Yeah, Chris, I agree. I wish they had a damage model in here. You know, kind of like iRacing would be awesome. I mean, not to that extent, but... It would be nice. You know, nice explosion, truck fire, just anything. Yeah, there's um, a few other streamers that play this. I don't know which one you're referring to. Is it Back to the Basics? Back to the Basics streams ETS mostly, but also ATS sometimes. He's a pretty big Facebook streamer, from what I understand. I think that's where he's known. And then you've got... Oh, shit. We were supposed to turn there. There's some other guy. Creepy Horseman, I think his name is. He wears a horse head. Then there's a guy that does farming sim. I think his name is the Jenkins Family Farm. But he's usually on in the middle of the night. I think. What's up, Drift Junkie? How you doing? Doing good. Finishing up this Alaskan delivery. Then we're done for today. Yeah, it's all good, Drift Junkie. I don't ask. I never ask for that sort of stuff. I don't ask for gifts or subs. It's all good. I just ask for likes and shares when I get to my destinations. I'm good with that for now. I feel like if people sub, Turn left. then I would be obligated to like live up to my schedule and stuff, which is hard for me to do right now. So I just don't like to push it. I don't need people complaining, telling me they were expecting me at noon and I'm here at 12.05. <laughs> All right, chat, we are here. So TikTok, if you could, please, I'd appreciate some likes and shares. I'd appreciate it if you follow my mod Bree. I am going to get this one dropped off. Twitch, I'm going to end the stream momentarily once I get this dropped off. And TikTok, once I'm done, I will pull the camera back so you can see the full rig. Yeah, where are we going? Behind the building, I guess. Realistic mod adds visual damage, flat tire, engine fire. Uh, user 62, is that to your own truck or is that only to traffic? 
Because I do have that mod or a mod like that, but it only adds it to traffic, not your vehicle. You too, Brickwall. I'll be back on Friday at some point. Big Cats, I appreciate you joining today. Where is this trailer going? Are we going inside there? Looks like it, right? Why do I have to make these so complicated? Why can't you just give me a nice, easy spot to back into? One second, chat. I think we're going in here, but I'm not sure. Where is this thing going? I see the flag. I don't see... I don't see the spot. I thought it was in between all those logs. So this might be a glitch in the Alaska mod, which I actually think it is. So hold on a second. I think I see the spot, but it's not lit up properly. I see something flickering on the ground to the left. One second, chat. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I see it now. Never mind. It is in here. It is in there. I don't know if I can make this in there. How am I going to get in there? So how much was the setup without the computer? So 24,000 minus, I think my PC was about four. My displays about two-ish, six. I don't know, call it like 18, 17-ish. And if you check out my video on TikTok, the parts video, I do have all the pricing broken down individually, so you can just do it that way. Look at the running totals. Oh shit, they have this truck in my way right here. And you can just deduct the PC pricing from it. All right, I'm gonna give this one shot to try to get in there. And if not, I'll just rage quit it. This one's a bit tough because I don't know if you can see whatever this log picker device is over here, but it's in my way. If I can swing around it and manage to pull up, I might be okay. But I don't know. Oh, we might make it a little bit more room. Oh, let's see. I do, Robin. I mean, I don't have a video necessarily breaking everything down, but I do have... Oh, shoot. I gotta go that way. I do have a video with all the parts and pricing. I do have some videos up of me building it, some time lapses and whatnot. But nothing like where I'm sitting down explaining everything. All right, I've got to pull up and go to the right and see if I can get this on the other side. All right, let's see. We hopefully are good now, I think. Just give me a minute. Or five. No, I didn't leave myself enough room. All these logs.
All right, now we should be good, I think. Don't hit the locks. Don't hit them. Sorry, chat. I'm not reading the chat right now. I'm trying my best to do this without pulling up ten more times. What happened, Drift Junkie? More people complaining? Yeah, I wouldn't call it an investment. So part of the reason why it didn't bother me so much to buy higher end gear is because sim racing became very popular with the whole stay at home stuff that started back in 2020. I mean, it blew up. Companies like Fanatec blew up. SimLab. Hold on one second. So point is, is that so much stuff is out of stock that anytime I sell my Fanatec gear, I sell it for almost retail pricing on Facebook Marketplace, not even eBay, and don't pay fees to sell it. Because Fanatec doesn't have inventory, I ship quicker than Fanatec and people don't want to wait. So this stuff holds value really well. Same for computer parts. I had a lot of old iMacs that I've sold before. You get good money for them. Uh, the only thing you wouldn't get good money for is probably the chassis. But I've sold my Next Level Racing GT Ultimate and Track before. I've gotten good money for them. All right, chat, we are in. So Twitch, I will catch you later. I'm going to end there in a minute. So if I ever get out of this hobby and I sell this or I buy new gear, I keep all the retail boxes, all the parts. I pack it up nicely, sell it. And I get a big uh, portion of that money back. 